Hello Steve, this is Sean here. Uh, I'm demonstrating the USB uh, over Wi-Fi demo here. So this one, this is the Rail Link module. And here are two um, COM port. I solid these lines to here. Maybe you can see it clear. out there and uh, this is the um, com to USB converter and uh, this connect to the um, my computer and uh, that's another USB port basically for supplying power okay here and uh, on this uh, USB port on this USB port I connected a USB a wireless USB connector so if I connect this thing to my computer that wireless USB will just be a USB mount but now the wireless USB signal just uh, come to here and uh, it's tittering through Wi-Fi network okay the on the computer side um, first I'm going to show you the computer is actually connected to the uh, open WRT Wi-Fi okay and uh, I am using the uh, USB IP connector to the so this address is the uh, address of the Relink module here um, and this is the console to that Relink module okay um you can see the address is 1.5 here okay and uh, i installed all this uh, usb ipd stuff here and uh, binded the usb ipd to this port if you can see here Oop. sorry the USB RPD this is process ID and this is the port okay so yeah it's working now I can show you some movement of the mouth that's actually lead to the mouth movement. Ah, how can I show you that way? The, okay. Maybe like that. See the mouth is moving? Yeah, the mouth is moving. Not sure if you can see it, but it's actually moving. Okay. here not sure if you can still see the um, see the screen here hmm? where's that focus on that see it's moving Ooh, good. It's moving down right up down left right And you always see the receive sequence is actually growing, you know, which means the uh, USB over Wi-Fi is actually sending data through this sequence. You know, the sequence is actually growing. Yeah, and 
here if I uh, disconnect the link here, okay? I just pop up this link here. And you will see the mouse just stopped work. Okay? Okay. And it says read sucked arrow. This is arrow handling stuff that's not been done. Yeah, that's currently what I'm at now. If you want further development, then that means I need to dive into the code and to implement that error handling part, which is not that hard for me. I just want to confirm if you've got a deal from your clients and if that looks good and we can proceed. Okay, that's all the demo.